Ni hao from Seed Studio. I am Seth Welde, and welcome to New Product Fridays. Today, we have six new products to introduce. The first one, and my personal favorite, is our Wyo GPS board. This is part of our Wyo series, and the Wyo series are wireless input output boards. This includes boards for IoT, but also boards that aren't directly connected to the internet and just to other devices. So one thing these boards have in common is they're compatible with the Arduino IDE, they have Grove connectors, and they also have a smaller core module, which you can place on to carry your boards of your own custom design. Now, this Wyo GPS board has GPRS for 2G connectivity, Bluetooth 3.0, and of course it has its GPS. Now, this GPS has 99 channels, to help you get a nice quick lock. But let's talk about some projects you could actually use this on. So you could use it to track a bicycle to know your kid's location. You could use it to track a pet. Or you can use it to track, honestly, anything of high value and get real-time data on where it is constantly and maybe even use that data to improve placement or Path that it will travel along. Now, I do also want to point out that this has six Grove connectors, two digital, two analog, one I squared C, and one UART. And one of my favorite things about this, it only costs thirty-nine dollars and ninety cents, and that's really good for a dev board that has a GPS, GPRS, and Bluetooth on board. Our second product is the Crazy Fly 2.0 Z-Ranger deck board. Please note, this will only work with the Crazy Fly 2.0. Now, the Z-Ranger deck board uses a laser sensor to measure the distance to the ground. This gives you precise altitude control with your Crazy Fly drone. This is good for up to roughly two meters and gives you down to several millimeters of accuracy. Our third product is the L3D Cube. This is a really cool 6x6x6 RGB LED cube that also has a microphone and accelerometer in it. This will take about roughly 30 minutes to assemble, but there's no programming required. You can shake it or play music to make it react. It's a pretty fun cube to have at home, in the office for fun, or even on the go. Our next product is the Red Bear Blend 2. This is a full-size Arduino compatible board, which supports most shields. It uses a Cortex M3, so it's quite fast. And the most notable feature is that it uses BLE 5.0. Now, this has 26 digital input-out pins, 8 PMWs, six ADCs, but it also has NFC, an additional UR, two SPIs, two I squared C ports, and you can also plug in two Grove sensors. Be sure to check it out. The next product is Red Bear's Nano 2. This is a tiny little board measuring 18 by 21 millimeters. And it also features BLE 5.0. BLE 5.0 is awesome because it quadruples the range. It doubles the transmission speed and it has an 800% in broadcasting capacity. The Nano 2 has 12 digital IOs, 12 PWMs, and 680C. It also has one UART, two SPI, and one I squared C. Our final product is a kit for the Nano 2. This kit features the DAP link board, which you use to program and debug any application running on your Nano 2. This board runs a Cortex M3, and that's literally all it is. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode of New Product Fridays. 
please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Seed Studio, and don't forget to visit our community website at seed.cc. That's seed with three E's. If you have any feedback, leave your comments down below. Promise that we read them. And also, keep on making. Bye.